2017 Toyota Highlander V6 AWDA sales favorite addresses some shortcomings, like the 1986 film Highlander. The Toyota SUV that shares its name is a crowd pleaser that fails to inspire fervor among critics. After more than 190,000 Highlanders rolled off dealer lots last year, Toyota's mid-size crossover SUV entered 2017 with a host of changes aimed at satisfying the masses and pundits alike. Notably, all Highlanders, from the base $31,590 LE to the tip-off-the-line $48,840 Highlander Hybrid Limited Platinum, now comes standard with a pre-collision warning system with pedestrian detection and automated emergency braking, plus lane departure warning, land keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, and automatic high beams. Our all-wheel grid $43,184 Highlander XLE test car also packed blind spot monitoring, a feature unavailable on the lower level Highlander LE and LE+. Accompanying the 2017 Highlander's numerous safety systems is the latest variant of Toyota's 3.5-liter V6 engine. The six-cylinder is standard on all but the base front wheel drive Highlander LE which continues to use a wimpy 185 horsepower in one F here and incorporates a host of modern technologies, including a direct and port fuel injection system and an upgraded valve train that allows the engine to run on the more efficient Atkinson cycle, rated at a healthy 295 horsepower and 263 lb-ft of torque. The revised V6 makes 25 more ponies and an additional 15 lb-ft compared with the previous unit. Fuel economy is up too, with the front wheel drift 2017 Highlander V6 earning an up rated 23 mpg combined, all wheel drift, models achieve 22 mpg. Both figures mark a 2 mpg improvement over last year's Highlander and put the crossover within 1 mpg of the 4-cylinder Mazda CX-9's combined fuel economy figures. Toyota's 2G RFK Essex is a gem of an engine that builds power almost all the way up to its 6800 RPMs. Redline, at the track, this Highlander shaved zero, three second off of its predecessor's zero to 60 mile per hour and 30 to 50 mile per hour times, hitting the marks in seven, zero and 3.8 seconds, respectively. Unfortunately, the 2017 Highlander's 5, 6 second 50 to 70 mile per hour passing time was both slow for the class and nearly a second behind that of its forebear, blame the new 8-speed automatic transmission's hesitancy to downshift. Regardless, the revised Highlander's V6 offers plenty of grunt in most real-world driving situations. Thanks in part to our test car's automatic stop-start system, we managed a reasonable 21 mpg during our time with the crossover, 2 mpg better than what we got from a Mazda CX-9. The element of crossover if the 2017 Highlander's V6 powertrain is the equivalent of Highlander's Charming 1S, NCHEZ V La Lobos Ram, Res, played by Sean Connery. Then the crossover's revamped exterior design is akin to the film's handsome but forgettable protagonist, Connor McLeod, Christopher Lambert, new front and rear fascias, updated headlamps, and an attractive set of LED tail lights give the Highlander a more cohesive, SUV-like appearance. But we still wouldn't put it quite on the same level of attractiveness as the Butch Dodge, Durango or the shapely CX-9 unlike the exterior. The Highlander's interior has been left largely untouched. Toyota did add four more USB ports bringing the total to 5.3 in front and 2 in the rear. The cockpit features a number of handy storage nooks, including a shelf that spans the lower dashboard and a massive center console bin that can accommodate nearly a cubic foot of miscellaneous items. Ergonomic faults include difficult to grip temperature knobs for the climate control system and a touchscreen that's too far away from the driver. While Basa Level L in LE Plus Highlanders come with a standard second row bench seat, the XLE, SE, Limited, and Limited Platinum grades come with captain's chairs in the middle. The bench seat is a no-cost option on the XLE, Limited, and Limited Platinum. Space is plentiful in the second row, but we found that our seven passenger test car's bucket seats were mounted too low for optimal comfort. Still, the Highlander's sliding and reclining second row chairs were like a pair of Lost Boy recliners. 
compared with the thin and flimsy 60-40 split folding to draw bench, legroom and the way back is just 27.7 inches, a full 6 inches fewer than what the Volkswagen Atlas's rearmost row offers. If you regularly haul enough passengers to merit frequent use of the third row, consider the Atlas, a Honda Pilot, or a Ford Flex, shadow of an SUV in spite of the Highlander's car-like unibody construction and low stepping height. This mid-size crossover's handling reminds us of an old-fashioned body-on-frame SUV, as its softly sprung suspension allows excessive body roll and turns. On the plus side, the suspension absorbs road irregularities with nary a shutter, and the electrically assisted steering is relatively quick and generally well-weighted. At 4,560 pounds, our all-wheel drip Highlander test car was was no lightweight, and the excess mass made itself known when applying the brakes, as the Toyota needed 181 feet of tarmac to stop from 70 miles per hour 11 feet more than a 161 pound lighter. All-wheel drive GMC Acadia Denali with an estested price of $43.184. Our toasted walnut pearl Highlander XLE sported $3,704 in options. Of that tally, all-wheel drive adds $1,460 and also brings vestigial mud flaps, hill descent control, and a display setting within the four. 2-inch Galka cluster screen that shows torque distribution among the Highlander's four wheels, and $1,810 rear seat entertainment system was the most expensive option, while $434 bought floor mats and Bodhi side moldings. Standard items included navigation, a proximity key with push-button start, and a sunroof as well as aforementioned features such as a blind spot monitoring system and leather trimmed first and second row seats toyota upholsters the third row in vinyl while the highlanders lifeless handling and cramped third row continue to curb our enthusiasm for the indiana bill crossover the updated 2017 highlanders long list of standard safety and convenience features more powerful and fuel efficient v6 engine and improved exterior styling will continue to attract hordes of shoppers looking for a comfortable and reasonably priced mid-size crossover suv